know when you want to switch the slides. Just click on the your app there. Yeah. Right yeah. Cool. Oh, what oh. happened? Oh. Cannot go. Is it? Is it? Oh, no, I'm in the end. I'm on the end. I. Oh, I know why. It's actually easier from up. There was like something from our computer that's why. Oh, it only works. Yeah, the files on your computer. Yeah. It works on our computer. So the picture, yeah. So. All right. Sorry. So Eoraptors um so found the oldest dinosaur found and and the, another dinosaur the another example of the um, Triassic dinosaur is Plateosaurus and Plateosaurus is a, a the Plateosaurus is a herbivore or a, or a plant eater. It walks sometimes on four legs and sometimes on two legs, and it usually walks on two legs and it eats its blood. Okay. So, this is a Triassic landscape. This is the Eoraptor, and that's a Herosaurus. And this is a Coelophysis, I think. And Coelophysis, Coelophysis, dinosaurs are actually meat eaters. Okay, so the Jurassic dinosaurs were actually because they're the Triassic dinosaurs, and most of them were com not most of them. I mean, they were more carnivores than 
than the Triassic dinosaurs were, and some examples of um, Jurassic dinosaurs are Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx is actually a gliding dinosaur that it can it can glide and it's a meat eater and it's a theropod and a theropod is a dinosaur that can actually walk on two legs and most theropods are meat eaters. This carnivore actually eats insects and small lizards. And another example is Stegosaurus, which probably many people know about. And, and it's a herbivore. And it had a small hair, head, co I mean, brain compared to most dinosaurs. And most big dinosaurs. And its brain was actually as small as a walnut. And another example. And the last example I'm going to give is Consognathus. Consognathus is actually a, a theropod, and it's a small dinosaur, and it's a carnivore. And and, Comsog, and most people think Consognathus is the smallest dinosaur, but it isn't. There's actually another dinosaur that's smaller than Consognathus. So, this dinosaur is called Allosaurus, and as you can see, it's a meat eater. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Archaeopteryx, and that dinosaur is, and this stegosaurus, and that stegosaurus too. And these are Brachiosaurus dinosaurs, and Brachiosaurus dinosaurs actually have their, uh, their nose on the head, on their head, on top of their head, and these are Diplodocus dinosaurs, and Diplodocus dinosaurs have a long head, and long, long neck, and long tail, and they are herbivores, and Brachiosaurus are herbivores too. And this thing is not a dinosaur; it's a pterosaur, which I'm going to talk about soon. So this is an Archaeopteryx fossil, and this Archaeopteryx fossil has feather impressions, and not much Archaeopteryx fossils have been found. Only ten have been found so far. So this is what I'm going to talk about: pterosaur, the pizza I went there, and pterosaurs are not dinosaurs; they're flying reptiles. They rule the sky, and and some people also think that dinosaurs sw can swim, but they actually can't. Can't. They cannot. And and there are actually reptiles that do swim. Some reptiles are called marine reptiles, and they got extinct too. And so did these pterosaurs. And actually, the Mesozoic era is sometimes referred to the age of the reptiles the geology time scale that Professor Sterling gave you and, <laughs> and, and actually it's referred to the age of the um, age of the reptiles because you can see that the reptiles all um, the dinosaurs rule the land these pterosaurs rule the sky and the, and the marine reptiles actually so, so the Cretaceous, most of the Cretaceous dinosaurs were actually big dinosaurs. They were giants, but some were actually small, like Microraptor, which is smaller than a chicken, and it has a few similarities to um, Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx has feathers and, and and can glide, and Microraptor can, ha, also has feathers and, and can also glide. And Microraptor is also a carnivore, just like Archaeopteryx. And one unique thing about Microraptor is Microraptor actually has four wings, 
and also Microraptor is the smallest dinosaur, smaller than Comstock Mammoth. And the most Cretaceous ecosystems were actually had m more trees and more w water than the the ecosystems and environments in the Jurassic and the not Jurassic. But the Jurassic and the Triassic. And some examples are Tyrannosaurus rex, which is one of the most common dinosaur and it's a dinosaurs and it's a carnivore. And Tyrannosaurus rex has good eyesight and it also can smell things um, as far as one mile away. And and another example is Triceratops, which is Probably another common dinosaur, and it's a herbivore. And and most people think its horns are actually used for 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 fighting. Show your T-shirt. That's what it is. Yeah, this is actually about a triceratops, and <laughs> and and its horns are not used for fighting. They're actually they're not used for defending. They're actually used to attract other female Triceratops dinosaurs and also they're actually sometimes used to put like they have sometimes have fight um some Triceratops dinosaurs also have fight with other fights with other Triceratops dinosaurs and that's also because they want they want to figure out who's actually the leader of the whole Triceratops herd. And and these two dinosaurs actually probably were at the end of the all the dinosaurs that extinct. So this is a Cretaceous landscape. This is Edmontosaurus. It's a duckbill d dinosaur, and it's it's it, it's a herbivore. You can see that the, oh, that's some leaves. And this is a Proceratops. It has only one horn, and that's a um, Tyrannosaurus rex. That's a pterodon, an example of a um, pterosaur. And this is two pachycephalosaurus dinosaurs there. And pachycephalosaurus is a dinosaur that actually has a dome on its head. If you can probably see, you can probably see it. And the, it, the dome is used for butting. And this is another dinosaur called Styracosaurus. And it, it has a horn, one horn too. Just like Proceratops, and it has it has horns on its frill, as you can see. And yeah. Okay, this is a um, size comparison picture. So you can see Brachiosaurus is much bigger than Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see that Comstock Mammoth is actually bigger than us, and it's pretty small. And this is another example of a um, pterosaur. Um, one of the biggest um, um, biggest pterosaurs and I, it's the dinosaur name is Quetzalcoatlus and and you can see that the blue whale is actually bigger than all of these um, all of these dinosaurs so now I'm going to be talking about the extinction of that dinosaur and Actually, different hypotheses on what on why the dinosaurs got extinct. The most widely accepted um, hypothesis is the the asteroid impact asteroid impact hypothesis, and and there are actually two craters that so shows evidence for this and um, this hypothesis. The first one is the Chukchuku crater, and it's in the Yucatan Peninsula in, in Mexico. And the other one is Shiba crater, which is in the western coast of like, India. They're both in the ocean, and this one is actually bigger than that. Okay, okay there, these are other these are other evidences that actually um, show. What might, what if this, um, if this is right? So, this is the rare metal iridium. Um, the, this is the rare metal iridium where um, evidence and that, and iridium is similar to platinum and it's 
mostly found in asteroids and and it's also found the trees within Earth within the Earth and it's found near the Cape of and it's one centimeter thick. Another evidence is the tectites. I think you impressed these ones. <laughs> Okay, that's also near the KT boundary, and, and, and another, another evidence is the quartz crystals, and they're also near the KT boundary, and these fossil, and, there are, and the last evidence I'm going to say is the fossil core, and they're near the KT boundary, and they were actually age dated to be about 65 um, million years ago. And why is that for? Okay. Another, another hypothesis is actually um, a hypothesis where it says that the, actually the gases gradually got extinct by volcanism and And the iridium actually is one, one evidence. And some scientists think it's because of um, volcanic activity. So when it, probably what happened is that, so when the uh, vol volcano erupts, the, the iridium deep from the, deep within the earth actually comes, comes out of the volcano and forms a lake. Another evidence is the fractured quartz crystals near the KT boundary. Some scientists actually think it's because it's due to um, volcanic eruptions, and this is and the, this one actually of the lava flows of the Deccan Plateau in, in India actually says that the there was continuous volcanic activity for about four about five hundred thousand years, and that's. That's why the dinosaurs gradually became extinct, and the fossil record actually says that um, shows that the dinosaurs probably gradually got extinct. So these are other hypotheses for the dinosaur extinction. The one of them is the mammal competition, which says that. Um, Actually, what happened is the the mammals competed for food, water, and shelter with the dinosaurs, and the evidence is from fossil records. And then the, another um, um, hypothesis is the continental drift or plate tectonic hypothesis, and that's in the, as we learn in the land changes and the ecosystem. And then what happens is the ecosystem ecosystems actually get dry and cooler, and that took millions of years for the dinosaurs to actually again be extinct. The Cretaceous period. It's all that is also like the dinosaurs. That one also says that the dinosaurs gradually get extinct. And another evidence for this um, hypothesis is from sea level. The sea level. Uh, were regressing and, and the continents got dry. And, and that's the end of my presentation. <laughs>
that said Tyrannosaurus rexes might be actually uh, herbivores. Do you know anything about that? No, but uh, Tyrannosaurus rex being, becoming a herbivore, I don't think that would really happen because actually its teeth um, actually identify that and its teeth um, show that it actually what, what happened is that it's a meteor because of its being shocked. Cool. So, so if it's shocked, then it, yeah, it, it's a carnivore. But if it's like, like,